Nootropics or smart drugs are natural or synthetic substances that are intended to improve your mental health. Paracetam is considered to be the first nootropic drug of its kind. It's a popular synthetic derivative of the neurotransmitter GABA, or gamma-aminobutyric acid, a chemical messenger that helps to slow down the activity in the nervous system. However, paracetam doesn't appear to affect your body in the same way as GABA. In fact, researchers still aren't sure exactly how it functions. That said, studies link the drug to several benefits, including improved brain function, reduced dyslexia symptoms, and fewer myoclonic seizures. Research suggests paracetam can enhance brain function. For example, animal studies indicate paracetam makes the cell membranes more fluid, and this makes it easier for the cells to send and receive signals, which aids in communication. This could be a reason why its effects appear to be strong in older adults and people with mental health issues, as research shows their cell membranes tend to be less fluid. Other studies observe paracetam increases your brain's blood supply as well as oxygen and glucose consumption, especially in people with mental impairment. These are other factors that might improve the brain function. In one study on 16 healthy people taking 1200 milligrams of paracetam per day, they perform better at verbal learning tasks than the people in the placebo group after two weeks, though no differences in memory and cognition were detected after one week. In another three-week study, 16 adults with dyslexia and 14 healthy students took 1.6 grams of paracetam daily and improved verbal learning by 15% and 8% respectively. Additional research in 18 healthy older adults found participants performed significantly better in a variety of learning tasks when taking 4.8 grams of paracetam per day, compared to when not supplementing with the drug. Meanwhile, an analysis of three studies looked into the effects of paracetam on people who are undergoing coronary bypass surgery, a procedure that restores blood flow to the heart. Brain impairment can be a side effect of the surgery. However, paracetam improved the short-term mental performance in people post-surgery compared to placebo. That said, most human studies on paracetam and brain function are fairly dated. More recent studies are needed before it can be confidently recommended. Dyslexia is a learning disorder and it makes it harder to learn, read and spell. Research indicates that paracetam can help people with dyslexia to learn and to read better. In one study, 225 children with dyslexia, aged 7 to 13, were treated with either 3.3 grams of paracetam or placebo every day for 36 weeks. After 12 weeks, the children taking the paracetam showed significant improvements in their ability to read and to understand text. In another study, 257 boys with dyslexia, aged 8 to 13, received either 3.3 grams of paracetam or placebo every day for 12 weeks. Those treated with the paracetam significantly improved their reading speed and their short-term listening memory. Additionally, a review of 11 studies in over 620 children and young people with dyslexia observed taking 1.2 to 3.3 grams of paracetam every day for two months significantly improve learning and comprehension. Myoclonic seizures are described as sudden involuntary muscle spasms. They can make day-to-day -day activities like writing, washing and eating difficult. Multiple studies have found paracetam may protect against the myoclonic seizures. For example, a case study in a 47-year-old woman who experienced myoclonic seizures noted taking 3.2 grams of paracetam every day stopped her myoclonic jerks. Similarly, a study in 18 adults with Ulrich lumberg disease, a type of epilepsy that causes myoclonic seizures, showed taking 24 grams of paracetam every day improved symptoms and signs of the disability caused by the myoclonic seizures. In another study, 11 people took up to 20 grams of paracetam every day for 18 months, alongside their existing medication, to further help reduce myoclonic seizure symptoms. The research found the paracetam helped to reduce the overall severity of the seizures. 
Dementia describes a group of symptoms that affects your memory, ability to perform tasks and communicate. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia. Research suggests that damage caused by the build-up of amyloid beta peptides may play a role in its development. These peptides tend to clump together between the nerve cells and disrupt their function. Test tube studies show the paracetam might protect against dementia and Alzheimer's by preventing the damage caused by the amyloid beta plaque buildup. Human studies also indicate paracetam may help to boost mental performance in older adults with dementia, Alzheimer's disease or general brain impairment. For example, an analysis of 19 studies in approximately 1,500 adults with dementia or brain impairment revealed 61% of people taking the paracetam showed improved mental performance compared to only 33% with the placebo treatment. In another study, 104 people with Alzheimer's disease found taking 4.8 grams of paracetam for four weeks, followed by 2.4 grams for two weeks, improved memory reaction speed, concentration and other markers of brain health. Inflammation is a natural response and it helps the body to heal and fight diseases. Nonetheless, persistent low-level inflammation has been linked to many chronic conditions like cancer, diabetes and heart and kidney disease. In animal studies, paracetam has been shown to have antioxidant properties, which means it can reduce inflammation by helping to neutralise free radicals which are potentially harmful molecules that can damage your cells. What's more, animal studies indicate it can restore and enhance your brain's natural antioxidant defences like glutathione, a powerful antioxidant produced by your body that tends to become depleted with age and disease. The paracetam helps reduce inflammation in animal studies by suppressing the production of cytokines and these are molecules that stimulate an immune response and trigger inflammation. Paracetam also reduced swelling and pain related to inflammation in animal studies. Generally speaking, paracetam is considered safe with little risk of side effects. In long-term studies, doses of up to 24 grams per day have shown no adverse effects. That said, some people can experience adverse effects like depression, agitation, tiredness, dizziness, insomnia, anxiety, headaches, nausea, paranoia and diarrhoea. Paracetam is not recommended for pregnant women or people with kidney disorders. Moreover, it can interact with medications like blood thinners like warfarin. If you're taking any medication or you have a medical condition, speak to a doctor before taking paracetam. Paracetam is sold under a variety of names, including Nutripil and Lucetam. Though the drug is not illegal in the US, it's not approved by the FDA and it might not be labelled and sold as a dietary supplement. It can be purchased in some countries, however, in Australia you need a prescription. It may be purchased for research purposes only in certain places. Be sure to look for a product that's been tested by a third party to ensure its quality. Because of a lack of human studies, there's no standard dose for paracetam. Still, the following doses appear to be most effective based on the current research. For cognition and memory, 1.2 to 4.8 grams per day. For dyslexia, up to 3.3 grams per day. For mental health disorders, 2.4 to 4.8 grams per day. And for myclonic seizures, 7 to 24 grams per day. Paracetam is a synthetic nootropic and it may boost mental performance. Its positive effects on the brain seem more apparent in older adults as well as people with mental impairment, dementia or learning disorders like dyslexia. That said, very few studies exist on paracetam. Most of the research is dated, so new research is needed before it can be recommended. Paracetam is relatively safe for most people. Still, if you have a medical condition or you're taking medicine, talk to a doctor before using it. To learn more about improving mental health, nootropics and brain function, or to book a consultation, learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatments, check out my website.